My name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be going through everything that I plan on making in April. So, as normal, I made an enormous list and then tried to whittle it down to four things. Four things being roughly one a week and that seems to be an achievable amount for me to try and sew. If I don't sew all of those things, then I try not to be too hard on myself but actually it sometimes gives a little bit of leeway and means that I can sometimes sew a few extra things which then feels really great and gives you a really great sense of achievement. So I was a bit lost this month in terms of trying to find something to sew and I turned to my make nine list that I had made and whilst doing this I felt it was really important to share with you how that made me feel looking at it so I've heard a few people say that sometimes when they do the make nine, they then feel a bit under pressure to then make those things that they've said they're going to make and they don't always want to make them or they feel really disappointed at the end of the year when they haven't actually sewn all of those things. So I looked to my list and had a little look at all the things that are on there and I'll try and pop a picture on the screen to show you what my make nine was. And whilst I was looking at it, I thought, Actually, there's nothing on there that I don't want to sew. I really still want to sew all of those things. However, I just wasn't in the mood particularly to want to sew any of them right now, except for one item, which I'll share with you in a moment. And it just got me thinking, actually, do you know what? This hobby is something that is meant to be really enjoyable. It's meant to be something that we use as a bit of escapism from our lives outside of sewing so whether that's work housework i don't know whatever it is that you've got going on in your life a hobby is something that you use as a form of enjoyment and a bit of distraction and it should be something that you really enjoy and with sewing even more so because not only is it something that you should enjoy when you're going through the process of it it should also be something that you enjoy to then wear after you have completed your project and it just got me thinking about not putting too much pressure on ourselves and actually if you change your mind and you don't want to sew something that at the beginning of the year you decided you wanted to sew but you've changed your mind part way through that's totally fine and actually you know why put pressure on yourself to sew something that you don't enjoy that's not what a hobby is meant to be <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to share those thoughts with you Anyway, I will stop whittling on and I'll get on with what it is that I want to sew. So the first thing, which is on my Make Nine list and is something I've talked about lots and lots before, is the Deer and Doe Luzerne coat. So I've got the pattern here and it's a really lovely um, trench coat pattern and my daughter bought me this pattern for Christmas. So it's something I really want to have a go at because it was a pattern she actually sought out herself. I had no um, input to this whatsoever and I really love that, that she's done that. And I've said in a, in a previous video that I was going to do this as a sew along. Now the reason I haven't done this yet is because my fabric just I couldn't find a fabric that I liked and then when I did eventually find one that I liked it was out of stock and I knew it was going to come back in so rather than re sort of going back into the internet and going down that sort of rabbit hole of trying to find new fabric I decided to just put a, a reserve on that fabric for when it came back into stock and it's now finally arrived and it is a really gorgeous bright red which is the colour I said I wanted to go for um, twill fabric. It's a medium weight twill and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm really really pleased with it. It's a lovely weight. It's the perfect colour that I was after. Hopefully it's showing up properly on the screen but it's a proper sort of pillar box red and yeah just absolutely delighted with it. I do need to search out some binding because I'd like to have um, all of the inside seams bound in a, in a really nice um, bias binding and I'm not quite sure what colour I want to go for with that. I don't want it to be red, I want it to be contrasting so that it looks really striking when it sort of the, the trench coat sort of opens and what have you. So yeah, I think that'd be really lovely. Now 
I am going to do this as a sew along. It's not going to be my sew along for this month because I think this is going to be quite a long term project. So I think it's going to be ready in about two months time. And the reason being is that I think there are going to be quite a few skills that I'm going to need to acquire as I'm making this. And I really want to get them right and share them with you in the correct way and, and not give you misinformation or, or mess things up. So I'm going to really take my time with this and get a really hopefully great tutorial or so along for you um, that you'll really enjoy and um, will be really really useful so yeah that's my first very involved make which is going to span over this month and next month I expect so the next thing that I'd like to make is something which actually in the last month I've made a lot of shirts so it seems a bit strange that I want to make another one but I do <laughs> I'd really like to make a really lightweight, really nice sort of floaty blouse that is really more of a casual blouse than a work blouse. And I went to Make at 140 and I bought this absolutely gorgeous viscose fabric. It's just really, really lovely. It's an off-white with a cobalt blue pattern on it. I did think it was a bit of a leaf design, but I'm not sure that it is. I think it's just an abstract kind of print, really. Um, and yeah, we'll go with anything. I think this would look really nice with um, a pair of jeans or um, a little skirt or anything like that. I just think it's a really, really nice sort of blouse type fabric. It's really nice and lightweight and just feels lovely. Now, I put a post on my Instagram after I had bought this sort of saying, not really sure which um, which pattern I should at attack with this fabric has anybody got any ideas and somebody suggested um, the blouse by the avid seamstress which is this pattern here and I thought oh my gosh yes I've actually got that pattern that's such a good idea and I started sort of looking at the hashtags on Instagram and trying to find you know different variations of it and then I watched Chloe from um, I can't remember her YouTube channel is The Pink Zips or Pink Zips, but her YouTube channel, I'll list in the comments below or the details below. She made a the blouse in her last video and it was just absolutely gorgeous and it was the final push that made me go, yep, yeah, that's the one that I want to make. So I've paired this fabric with this pattern and I'm really, really excited about making it. The only thing that I'm unsure about and I'm I perhaps need to do a little bit of questioning with some other people that have made it and see what their opinion is. But the sleeve is actually an elasticated sleeve, which that's absolutely fine. I'm really happy with that. But it only comes about three quarters of the way down your arm. So between your elbow and your wrist. And I'm not sure if that's something that I'll like. I wonder whether I would want to extend it so it comes down to here. I'm a bit funny about things sort of falling part way down even though I do end up kind of doing this, but I like the fact that I can pull it down to a full length afterwards. So I'm just a bit unsure about the sleeve length at the moment, but I'm really excited about making that. And I think that's gonna make a really lovely casual blouse. But I do also think that if needs be, in the really warm weather, that would be quite a nice blouse to wear for work. It would still be smart enough, but it would be nice and cool in the hot weather. So that's make number two. Make number three, hopefully, is going to be something for my middle daughter. Now, I recently received the So Haley Jane box for March. Yes, that's, yeah, March. <laughs> and the fabric came and it was a viscose fabric and it is absolutely gorgeous. It feels beautiful. It's really, really soft it's just not my colour and I, was a, I wasn't disappointed because I knew I was going to use it in some form or another but it's just not the sort of colour that I would normally wear and I just thought oh I don't know what am I going to make with that and I don't really want my fabric to go to waste so I showed my daughters this and said oh look I'm not sure I'm going to wear this what do you think you know I could make a skirt so it's not near my face and you know it'll match you know suit me a bit better and my middle daughter just went I'll have it <laughs> so we had a little look through my patterns and we decided on the Shelby romper now I've made this pattern before I've only got the line drawing here but I've made it before just once for myself and I'll pop a picture up on the screen so that you can see it and I absolutely love this and the reason I love it is because it just fitted really really beautifully so the Shelby romper comes as two different designs but well four patterns really in one so you have a short dress 
or a short romper so it's got sort of shorts at the bottom or you have the long dress or a long romper I don't quite know what the word for one of those that's long <laughs> but it has sort of trousers on culotte kind of um, style at the bottom of the dress but really really beautiful both versions I've only made the short romper version like I say I'll pop a picture up on the screen so the fabric I think really lends itself to this pattern I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful and I know that those colors are going to really suit my daughter and I'm really excited about making that it doesn't seem very seasonably appropriate to be making that right now but the summer is coming up and both of my young girls who are still at home they're sort of saying we want summer dresses now when I got this pattern it came with these do two different sleeve types that are on here but because I ordered a PDF copy of this there was actually then a new email sent out showing us that there was a um, a PDF for a little puff sleeve so a sleeve that came with like a little bit of an elasticated bit around it I didn't do that for my version I think I did this version here with the slightly more cap sleeves rather than the longer sleeves and I think that my daughter would prefer the slightly puffed sleeve with the elasticated bit on the bottom so I'm going to give that a go and uh, hopefully that will work out okay. So I can't wait to share that with you at the end of the month. So the next make is going to be my sew along and I really hope that you guys are happy with what I'm going to share as my sew along for you because it is a really favourite pattern of mine. I don't think it's a massively popular pattern but it's just such a simple make and really lovely. I've made two versions of it in the past and I've always said I'm going to make another one. But my daughters have each made a version of this as well and it, I think that just proves it's a really great beginner's pattern. Lots of things on there for building skills and things but yeah just really straightforward and lovely. And it is the Sewaholic Holly Burn skirt. It's really lovely. It has four panels so a front two panels and a back two panels. It has these inset pockets, so not inseam pockets. It has a waistband with the option of putting these tabs on it, which I've never done that, but obviously you can. And then it has a zip at the back. I think the zip is normally a lap zip, but I normally put in an invisible zip because I prefer the look of that. So that's what I'm intending on doing for my sew along for this month. And I just, I'll put some pictures in of the skirt um, the two versions that I've made and also the versions that my daughters have made as well but I was looking through Minerva with my daughter when she was trying to find fabric for hers and while we were looking I saw this fabric and I just fell in love with it and couldn't help myself so I have bought this crepe fabric and I just love the colours it actually looks purple on the screen but it's like an electric blue with this deep maroon and a black and it's like a very geometric kind of style print. I just absolutely love it. I think it will make a perfect Holly Byrne skirt. It's actually a crepe, so it's got a very small amount of stretch to it. And the versions that I've made before, I've only made in cotton. And I think it'll be interesting to see what this feels like making it in a crepe, because I think it might actually be slightly more comfortable around the waistband. Not that mine aren't comfortable, but if you've got a little bit of extra give, obviously that's always going to give you a bit of extra comfort. Now, while I was getting the fabric for this, I had a little look and they had some really inexpensive rib fabric, which I thought would look really nice as a top with it. So I got this red fabric, which is a... It's just a really like I say very inexpensive um, rib I think it was about three or four ninety nine a meter so yeah really inexpensive and I bought the royal blue to go with it as well which I think I don't think that shows up on screen that it matches but it really does match really perfectly in real life <laughs> I did buy some black fabric as well the same as this but for some reason I just can't find it I've obviously stored it away in a very safe place but it's just black so yeah no need to particularly show you but I really like that and I just think that as a top and that as a top with the holly burn skirt I just think will look really smart for work I don't know what tops I'm going to make yet and I don't particularly know if I'm going to make tops this month but that that's all washed and ready to go to make a top once I have made my Holly Burn skirt. So yeah, really hope that you um, enjoy that sew along and hopefully I'll get that out to you shortly. 
So the last thing that I want to sew is yet again something for myself and I feel a bit naughty but I've done a lot of sewing for other people over the last month or so so I feel it's okay really. <laughs> so I've had my eye on the Tilly the Buttons Billy dress for quite some time. Now I made the top version of this with the, I made the um, sleeves which were sort of um, just the normal sleeves at the top but I then changed the bottom of the sleeves to be the bell sleeves like this. Normally this comes with the puff sleeve at the top and the bell sleeves at the bottom but I just manipulated the pattern ever so slightly and made the top version. Really really liked it, I just felt like it was a really nice um, pattern, it, it was very easy to put together but I haven't made the dress yet and the dress has these in inset pockets, a little band around the bottom, obviously cuffs and neckband and I saw this fabric at Make 140 and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So you can see it's very similar to the um, picture on the front, this is in a pink and um, slightly tangerine kind of colour and I've bought the pale bluey grey grid fabric and I am so excited about making the billy in this. Um, it's a fleece fabric so it's got a really soft back to it and yeah it's not overly thick so I think it's going to be something that's going to tie me over between um, sort of spring and summer. I think it's going to be a really nice thing to have. I wouldn't wear it with tights, I think I'd wear it very similarly to what's on the front of the packet just with some little pumps like this. The only thing is, is that on the front of here you can see this has got a matching ribbing for the hem band, the cuffs and the neck band but I've looked and I cannot find a, a ribbing that matches this bluey colour. I can buy white but I'm not sure I want to have the white on it so I might have to just do the ribbing sections in this fabric itself and um, just you know have like self ribbing really. So yeah I'm really excited about making this. I saw um, Claire from Claire Who Makes Things make this and her version is quite sparkly <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous and it suits her. I mean she's very beautiful anyway but it just suits her so much and she looks absolutely gorgeous. Hers is obviously quite a um, well yes it's very sparkly so I'd say it's a little bit more of a dressed up version and I think this is going to be much more casual because it's not quite quite as dressy but I really love what she did. She made it with the um, ordinary sleeves like this and it's just inspired me to really have a go and get on with making it <laughs> so I can't wait to make that. Now I have one other thing that I am going to attempt to sew um, but I haven't got a pattern to show you because I'm going to try and take something off of a ready to wear if you can call it a ready to wear item that I've got already. So when I was going through my plans and sort of thinking, mm, what shall I make? I don't know. Am I, you know, what shall I do? My husband sort of was in the background and went, well, you can make me that apron you keep saying you're going to make. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> So I said a long time ago on one of my previous videos, and I'll put a link into the video, um, because I said that I was going to make an apron for my husband for working out on his bike so that he didn't get mucky, that he could put things in pockets, you know, tools in pockets and things like that. And so many people commented on that video with lots and lots of different suggestions of patterns that I could use. And so the reason I'm going to put the link in is that if anybody is interested, they can have a look at what the comments are um, to see pattern suggestions because they were absolutely fantastic but when I've been talking to my husband about it all he has said is I just want something like our kitchen apron so something that has kind of like a bib top that just goes around your neck and then comes down into an apron ties around and then has pockets all across the front maybe one or two pockets at the top here as well and that's what he thinks would be the most helpful and beneficial for him working on his bike so I'm just going to take our kitchen apron because I know, well, I say I know it fits. I kind of think all aprons fit. <laughs> but I'm going to take that pattern and I'm just going to draw that out and then sort of put on their different pockets. The only problem being is that I don't have any fabric to make one continuous piece. But I do have lots and lots of bits of denim and twill, really thick twill from a previous pair of dungarees that I made. In fact, I think this all originated because I had an amount of um, twill left over from a pair of dungarees and I'll put a picture in of the dungarees that I'm talking about and I said that I wanted to make it but I haven't got enough so I'm going to do 
a mishmash of denims and twill to make this apron. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have that to show you. It might look quite funny because it might not look all that great, <laughs> but I'm gonna have a go. And actually, I'm really pleased at the idea of it using up some of the stuff that's in my stash because I'm trying to be, I know I've bought some new fabrics and bits and pieces, but I have got quite a few fabrics which I've held on to for quite some time. And I keep talking about doing this de-stash account and all this kind of thing, but I've also got lots of remnants of fabric which just aren't all that big to make anything. But if I join them all together to maybe make one big piece of fabric to cut out this apron, I think it would be ideal. So I'm gonna have a go at doing that. So that is everything that I plan on making for April. Hopefully, fingers crossed if I get the time to do it all. And um, I hope that you like the idea of the Holly Baron skirt as a sew along. And obviously, hopefully the month after, I will have the um, Luzerne coat as well to share with you. But other than that, that's it from me. I hope everybody's well. Have a really good week and I will speak to you all again soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.